guys, welcome back to FOMO the vlog. I'm Alina and I'm Alina and we're two best friends who decided to experience the world together because we were tired of missing out. In this vlog, we'll tell you the top five things to do in Venice, the places to see, where to eat and the best tips to get around. Guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because it really means the world to us. Yeah, and at the end we'll give you two extra tips that will take your trip to, to the, the next level. level. So we arrived to Marco Polo Airport in the evening and straight away we took the Ali Laguna ferry bus. Mm -hmm which actually goes throughout the whole of the Grand Canal. You can take it to Fundamenta Nueva, Rialto Bridge, San Marco Square, whichever bus stop you want. And it costs us 15 euro. Yeah. Alternatively, you can take a taxi, mm -hmm. which is going to be much more expensive, depending on your stop, of course, but you will also get a private ride, mm -hmm. which could be more fun. <laughs> Unless you're with your best friend. Then just take the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Piazza del San Marco. San Marco Square. First stop you should go to. It used to be like the social epicenter of the city where people would come and talk and discuss their lives. Mm -hmm. But now it's basically hoarded with tourists, but it's also one of the most important places to go in Venice. and put them out on your arms, the pigeons will fly to you and you can get some Instagrammable pics. Don't do it if you hate birds because we all know pigeons are the rats of the sky and they're pretty dirty. You can also go into St. Mark's Cathedral itself and tickets only 3 euro but then you will have to spend a good hour standing in the queue. So be warned if you want to go in, come prepared, hydrate, bring a snack, bring a hat, <laughs> bring a friend. <laughs> Bring anything you want. <laughs> Bring your bed. <laughs> Another thing you can do in St. Mark's Square is go there in the evening, which we did. It's really magical, albeit overpriced, but I think it's worth going at least once. Experience. You sit there, you sip, sip your Aperol spritz for 14 euro. for 14 euro and a tea for 10. Ding ding ding. <laughs> Tip: Go to the nearby <laughs> kiosk, <laughs> buy a beer. Buy an Aperol spritz. Be wiser than we were. <laughs> uh, the second most important place you should visit is the Rialto Bridge. It's the oldest bridge in Venice. Yeah. Uh, and I think it is the most important uh, or like known bridge in the world. Uh, it's actually one of the best places to catch a gondola, except for San Marco Square. Mm -hmm. Gondolas actually cost 80 during the day yeah. and 100 at night. We were being really, really <laughs> greedy and we didn't want to do it and we were like, budgety. no. Budgety, I call it budgety. Yeah, we were budgety. <laughs> After a bottle of wine, I started, we broke. yeah, we broke and I was just like, let's go, let's do it. Let's go, let's do it. So, so we decided to take a gondola ride. After a bottle of wine. <laughs> and a cannelloni. Cannelloni. Oh, cannelloni. How many years have you been doing this? Fifteen. Fifteen? Fifteen. 
15. On our gondola, our uh, gondolier, <laughs> gondola, gondolier, <laughs> uh, told us uh, that one of the buildings we were passing was actually Marco Polo's house. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another bridge you should know about is the Bridge of Sighs. Mm. The third and most arguably important thing you should do in Venice not arguably, it is the most important thing is eat, eat, eat and eat, eat everything you see not everyone, but everything. everything. <laughs> Pasta, dessert, that was pizza weird too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat We have three really good recommendations for you, um, and those are the first is Cateria Conti. We only had a truffle pit stop, um, a the, little biscotti pit stop, pit stop, and an ice cream pit stop. <laughs> yes, that's gonna keep us going. I picked the furthest restaurant in Venice. It's fine. I hope it's worth it, though. I hope so too. recommendation would be a lovely little cafe right behind the Rialto Bridge. It's called Cafe Verniano 1882. If you want to try any Italian desserts like tiramisu, panna cotta, cannoli. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Go. Third place is Osteria al Square. It's a little cute Osteria which serves pretty cheap drinks but really good ones. Aperol spirits, prosecco, and the classic traditional sandwiches of Venice, which come with everything you can imagine, meats, fishes, cheeses. Started with two sandwiches, ended up eating eight. <laughs> Not that that's something out of the ordinary <laughs> for us. <laughs> fourth place on our list, which is right next to it, the Ponte dell'Accademia. It's a beautiful bridge with an amazing view. I think it was my personal favorite view of Venice. Mm -hmm. Fifth place you should visit, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely go to the fifth place. So the fifth place you should visit is Libreria Aqua Alta, the bookstore of high water. And they actually keep all of their books in waterproof basins, but their waterproof basins are basically bathtubs yeah, and gondolas. find really authentic postcards mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So if you walk through it and you turn to the right, there is a gondola that belongs to yeah. the bookstore and you can climb in and take a photo. If you don't want to pay 80 or 100 euro to get into a gondola, that bookstore has a free gondola in the back. The two additional tips we want to give you is these. I'm just thinking, is two tips too little? Because we said best tips. I mean, we give tips throughout. How much tips can you get? How much tips do you want? How much tips? How much too tips? much tips? Don't tip the waiter. Actually, a viewing point on top of that de department store that gives you a 360 view of Venice. And it's gorgeous and beautiful. You go online on their website. And they have a special section where you can pre-book a 15-minute slot to go up yeah. there and yeah. enjoy the view. Yeah. It's completely free and we mm -hmm. suggest you go at sunset because it's really cute and romantic. Yeah. Yeah.
Venice has 24 hour and 48 hour mm -hmm. um, bus tickets and uh, you can take any public transport uh, around Venice and also to Burano, Murano mm -hmm. and all the surrounding islands. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we did when we went to the Burano mm -hmm. Island, which you will see in a future episode. Thanks for watching FOMO the vlog! Guys, it's a baby seagull! Come! Let's go!